Hey guys, Sherry from The Watering Mouth here, doing a video today about three ways to get your food back on track. I have a cat that is stalking me, wanting some food, so she's probably going to be rubbing up on me during this video, but we do what we can. This is an odd video for me because I'm filming really late at night, which I never do, but I just wanted to get this one out this week because it's an important concept and I have some good ways for you to kind of get back on track, so I wanted to share it with you. And it also has a super professional drawing that I'm going to show you, and you guys are already familiar with my super professional graph from this other video about how to get started and just keep going. So make sure you watch that video if you haven't before. It is, I mean, it's mind blowing. <laughs> the graph is just so good. So I have another really good drawing for you today. So you're gonna check that out. So all of my videos are based on the Eat to Live lifestyle by Dr. Joel Furman from the book Eat to Live. So if you have any questions about that, check that book out. It's life-changing information about the types of foods that we can eat for longevity and weight loss and uh, feeling our best and having our best health, all that kind of stuff. Whole foods, healthy, plant-based, high nutrient, amazing stuff. So check that book out. I also have another cat who is over there. I don't know if you can see her sitting down below the toilet there. And here's the other one stalking now. Um, she's sitting there because it's raining in Vegas right now, which is really strange and she's afraid of the rain So she's hiding out Okay, on with the video <laughs> um, If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe by hitting the subscribe button and the little notification The bell button so that you can get notifications every time I publish a video This helps me to build my channel which in turn helps you to get more of these kinds of videos So make sure you subscribe now three ways to get your food back on track okay so we whenever we're doing this kind of healthy lifestyle thing when we're trying to do it or we've done it for a long time or so we mess up for a bit or whatever there's inevitably points where something happens and we kind of get off track for a bit right either we go on vacation or we get invited to a dinner or we start to have a lot of cravings and then we want to um we want to have something and then we have some trouble kind of getting back to where we were before we had those cravings or that dinner or that vacation or a holiday or whatever. So this is a situation that happens to all of us and we're going to have exceptions like this. We're going to have things like this that happen in our life. And the skill is to just roll with that, right? Figure out how to just roll with it. I wish you could see Vincent right now totally just like hitting my hand every time I say something. Um, I'm trying to keep the camera steady, but she's a little crazy. So what we need to do is be able to roll with it and not let it get us off track for months after that, right? Because that's the problem really. Like it's actually not that big of a deal if we have a meal or two or some snacks here and there, whatever. That's actually not the problem. It's when that leads to days upon days and weeks and months and things like that, right? So how do you kind of get yourself... Um, get your, get the food part going again when you've fallen off track. So I've got three reasons, um, three ways for you. So the first one is not a very fun one. <laughs> it is, um, it is the kind of state that you get in when you just feel apathetic, right? There are some times where when we get off track, we just end up we're like, you know what? Screw this, <laughs> right? I'm not going to do this right now. I just don't want to. And this is totally normal. Okay, the first thing I wanna say about that is that this is totally normal. Circumstances in our life are gonna make that happen to us sometimes. Life is not perfect, and we just have to roll with those times where no matter what good we have in our life, sometimes we just feel not so good, right? We, we really can't muster the energy. So this apathy is a scary place because like we sort of, Vincent, stop. We sort of, stop, go away. We sort of know intellectually what we're supposed to be doing, and yet we just can't muster anything. We're like, yeah, I don't even care. It's fine, whatever, everything's fine, right? And then you just eat whatever you want for weeks and turn around you know, one day and go, oops, <laughs> I didn't mean to do it for that long, right? So when we're in this apathetic place, this is the bad news. When we're apathetic, there's not much that we can do. 
besides hope <laughs> and have faith, right? Just understanding though that apathy happens and knowing that it happens sort of on a regular basis, like for me I'd say every nine months or so, something like that, I just get this place where I'm like, ah, why am I doing Eat to Live again? <laughs> you know? I don't know, it's like a natural human thing that happens to us. And in the beginning of our journey, they, these actually might come quicker because, you know, they might come more frequently because we're not used to this yet, right? And so over time it gets easier and easier and you have less and less of these situations where you become apathetic, but generally it has something to do with being burnt out or being tired or being too busy or things like that. So these are kinds of things we want to look at and see if we can get our life to be in a place where our life isn't running us, but we're running our life. So that way we have less and less of these apathetic moments. So the advice about apathy is you got to wait it out. You just have to wait that out. There's, um, there isn't too much advice for how to get over that, but it is kind of this idea of keep it, um, keep your intention at the forefront of your mind while you're waiting it out. Just it's like, I know I'm going to get back to this. It will be okay. I know I'll get back to it. Right. Not like, Oh my God, what's happening, but more like, it's going to be okay. What you're going through right now is normal and it's fine. That sort of dulls that. Um, sting a little bit of what's happening and so as soon as you find that motivation again as soon as you get any spark of interest that's when you jump on it okay so the second situation is when we have desire to do this but we have no motivation like we know we want to really really bad but we just can't figure out how to sort of motivate okay I just actually went through a period like this a couple weeks ago and that's why I came up with the idea for this video so I want to share with you the super amazing drawing <laughs> that I want to make for you. So I'm going to turn the camera around here for a second and show you this drawing, which is actually... <laughs> All right, we got to help her like always. Okay, so this drawing is about our journey, okay? I'm going to write this and it's not going to be very good because I'm behind the camera, but we're just looking at our journey right now, okay? So I want to show you exactly how our journeys really, really do go in real life for all of us, okay? And it goes a little something like this. Okay, so I'm just going to do these little things here. I'm going to explain this in a sec. Okay, so actually imagine this standing up. This is kind of look at this cat here this is crazy okay imagine this standing up instead of like looking at it flat like this is our journey it's standing upright like this this circle okay this is kind of like the circle of life right like it's these cycles these things that happen in our life here and I want to show you kind of this high point here is actually at the top right like it's the high point standing up this high point is when everything is amazing we're like Oh my gosh, this is so easy. I love this. I have tons of motivation. There's nothing wrong. I could do this forever. It makes me feel so good. I'm so happy, blah, blah, blah. This is like, you know, happy time. Like we're, we're doing good. Then something comes along and either we start to get busy or we start to get tired or, you know, we just can't sort of maintain this super high point anymore and just kind of starts to fade a little bit. Maybe we saw something in the break room and we started to have that, but then we were like, no, 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 it's going to be fine. Like, I'm just going to go right back to it. And maybe we do go right back to it the next day. But then maybe the next day we see something else and we're like, uh oh, <laughs> it's starting to come down this circle a little bit, right? And then maybe like something else happens, like somebody we know gets sick or, um, you know, something bigger happens or we just go back off, we go off track for a while again. It's kind of bringing us down this little circle here till we get to this place here that's like the end of the world, doom and gloom, <laughs> right? And look at this. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a break for that for a second. <laughs> okay. So how could you be doom and gloom when this is going on, right? Okay, so you're down here in this doom and gloom. And this is seriously like, we've talked about this before in that previous video. We've talked about this being like the end of the world. Like, what's wrong with me? What's going on? Why can't I do this, right? But then this thing that I'm talking about where you have desire, but you have no motivation, right? So this here could be desire and no motivation, or it could be the apathetic place. It doesn't matter which one's which. But the point I want to make to you is that 
as, as we go down, we also come up. And this is actually what our journey is like. And it just keeps going in this circle forever. <laughs> okay. So we could either be in desire, no motivation, or it could be in apathy. So the solution for apathy is to wait it out. The solution for desire, no motivation, I'll come back to this in a second. Desire, no motivation, let me get this to focus, is... Um, use outside sources for motivation. So what happened to me the other day was I was, um, it was like about, I think a two week period or something. I was just kind of really off. I had, um, I had a lot of burnout and that was my main issue. I was just totally burnout. That was what the couple of weeks where I didn't post videos and stuff like that. It was just so hard for me to get the motivation. And, but I still, I knew I wanted to do it, but it was like, no matter what, I just couldn't start again. So I was like racking my brain, like, why am I a nutritarian again? Like, why am I doing this? And you guys, <laughs> like my entire life now is dedicated to being a nutritarian and helping others be nutritarian. And I have moments like this where I'm like, why am I a nutritarian again? I could just like watch all 450 of my videos, right? Or I could just, you know, watch my interviews with Dr. Furman or whatever, but I had a serious crisis of motivation. Like, how am I gonna get this back? I know I want this intellectually, like I know this is right for me, but like, how do I just motivate? So what I did was something I've done so many times. And the reason, I wasn't so much afraid, it was just more like, where's my motivation? When's it gonna come back? I knew it was gonna come back up that circle at some point, it was just like, hey, when is this like come on now uncle like when's this gonna happen right so I was thinking to myself okay what have I done before in the past to come out of this slump so here's the technique that you do when you have desire but no motivation you just start educating yourself again think back to the time when you found eat to live lifestyle you found my videos you found dr. Furman whatever whatever that sort of thing was that sort of flipped you on to this lifestyle that first thing that got you there was a piece of education. It was either you saw him on PBS or you saw him on the Dr. Oz show or more, my videos just popped up in the sidebar or you know, you were Googling something, uh, some other diet style and then you came upon this one and then this one and then you found my stuff or whatever. Like The reason that you found me is that you were searching for this at one point. You were educating yourself at one point. The reason that you found Dr. Furman is because you were educating yourself at one point. So go back to that. All you have to do to get your motivation back is to get enough education going in your head again, okay? You, you just have to like, <laughs> you just have to go, okay, I'm gonna make a plan in my day. This two hours is gonna be dedicated to reading the book again or watching another documentary or you know, um, watching some of my videos or Dr. Furman's videos. His, there's a ton of specials on YouTube with him and stuff like that. So what I actually did was I found a recent um, speech that he did somewhere and I listened to that for a couple days. After the end of the second day, I had my motivation back. Um, it wasn't in the beginning when I was watching the video. I was like, still like, hmm, I want chocolate today, <laughs> right? But um, by the time I finished that video, which is like an hour long video or something, I had my motivation back because I just, it was like I got to hear everything um, brand new in different ways that he hasn't said before or that I hadn't heard before. And um, it just kind of like all made it come tumbling back. Okay, so that's the way that you get that back. The other thing that you can do um, which we'll get to in a second. Let me come back to my drawing real quick. I just want to finish this sort of idea. And yes, she is still there. <laughs> okay, so I want to finish this idea about the journey. So you're either in this apathetic place or you're in this um, desire, no motivation place, but then you watch a video or you do something, you add like a little bit of education, you come back to this uptick, right? This upstroke where you're like, I'm on my way. This here is this like this section is the best feeling section in the world right because you are on your way again you're losing your weight you're looking in the mirror you can see a difference you're feeling real good you're eating the right foods you're prepping you're exercising you're doing all that stuff but guys just keep in mind this also exists and it continues to exist and it will always continue to exist okay so whenever you're feeling down whenever you're feeling like um you're, you know, coming into this section somewhere. Just remember that this section exists, okay? And remember that this is a circle. It's always going to be like this. 
and some weeks, months, years are gonna be easier than others, but it's always gonna be like this, okay? It's always gonna get better, no matter where you are. It'll always get better. You'll always get your motivation back at some point, whether it's just a hormonal change, or it's something you see on TV, or it's something you see around you, we'll always get it back, okay? So, this brings me to... Come on, the very last reason, or the very, very last way that you can get back on track with your food once you have um, gotten off track, and that is to do a challenge. Okay, so for me, and I'm just telling you from personally, challenges have been the thing, my whole journey, that have kept me on track and just in this cycle of up and up and up and up, right? Like I'll do a challenge for like nine or 21 days or 14 days or 42 days or something like that. I'll do some sort of a challenge. I'll challenge myself to try something new like no salt or no meat or no cheese or, you know, 100% nutritarian food or whatever. I'll challenge myself for something for a period of days. Just being on the challenge reduces cravings, makes it easier, you know, kind of gives you more motivation. Just doing the challenge. And so I highly recommend challenges. I think you guys know this by now, but I highly recommend them. And um, I wanna mention this because there's lots of ways you can do challenges yourself. I had always done challenges myself, like my own, um, uh, what do you call it? Like my own motivated challenges. You know, I made up the rules myself kind of thing and did it myself. Let me just show you what I used to do for my own personal challenges which was, um, it was really simple. I would just pick the thing that I wanted to challenge myself on that week or those two weeks or whatever, and then I would get really strict about it and here's what I would do. So I would say choose to myself that I wanted to do, say 14, uh, <laughs> 14 days for instance of a challenge. So what I would do is I would say like, okay, no salt, Oops, I can't write 14 days or something. I guess it'd be like the name of my challenge. Then, and I would literally use a sticky note like this, you guys. Then I would draw a little box like this. And then I would go like this. And I go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then what I would do is after every day that I did my challenge perfectly the next morning my reward was to be able to go like this <laughs> and then the next day if i did it again i could go like this and if i messed up i would go like this but i would try everything i could to not have an o right like m most of the time whenever i put myself on a challenge you'd have just all x's here because when you put when you put yourself on a challenge like that um, you know, it's coming from you. It's motiv sorry, it's not focusing. Hold on. It's coming from you. It's inner motivated. And so it happens to be like a little bit easier too sometimes to do that yourself when you have made that decision. That's when cravings reduce. That's when it gets a little bit easier. Okay. So try something like that if you want to do your own challenge. But if you want to get in on the next challenge coming up, you guys, it's in just a month from, um, ish from now on June 10th it's starting or if you're watching this video at another time sign up anyways because there's going to be another challenge coming up soon and you will get notified if you sign up so make sure you sign up at the wateringmouth.com slash challenge you can sign up and get notified of any upcoming challenge that's coming up so June 10th is coming up you guys these challenges are life-changing I'm telling you I have gotten so many freaking amazing responses from people talking about how they lost so much weight one person has lost up to 18 pounds in 21 days <laughs> like it's craziness lots of weight lost less cravings people love the food they don't feel hungry they feel like they're saving money compared to if they had to do it all themselves they're saving time because they don't have to think about anything i break down all the prep into super simple steps every single day so like some days you don't have to prep anything in advance some days you're just doing you know you're the bare minimum kind of easy things so i have thought of everything for you there's grocery lists there's tons of bonuses and everything so this is what the challenges are like. There's a Facebook group included, so the whole community is kind of doing it together. Everyone that signs up, they get to talk about it together. So it's really, really amazing. Um, and this is something that can really change your entire 
journey, you guys. I mean it. Some people have told me that this was life-changing doing this, that they finally understand how to do the Eat to Live lifestyle after doing it, which just, oh my gosh, gives me goosebumps when I think about it. It just warms my heart knowing that we're all doing this together and we're all learning such amazing, life-sustaining, wonderful information, okay? So I'm gonna stop talking your ear off now. Sign up for the challenge if you just if you just wanna know more about it. You don't have to actually sign up for it. Just sign up for more info at thewateringmouth.com slash challenge. You can get the info there, okay? Um, let me know down below what you're thinking about this. Um, like, what do you do when you have no motivation? What is your technique, right? Or when you're apathetic, do you have any techniques that you can share with us that, that can actually help? And yeah, that's all I got for you. So if you guys like my videos, please check out my Patreon channel as always, patreon.com slash thewateringmouth, where you can get in with the cool kids. I do some very specific, amazing, um, in-depth coaching and um, things that I don't share anywhere else on Patreon. So check me out on patreon.com slash thewateringmouth so you can get in on that exclusive content. And I thank you so much for watching this video. Sign up for the challenge, subscribe to the channel. Have a great day. See you in the next one. Bye.